Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Anis Ayuni Benti Abdul Rahim, metric number A16A0056. This is my student in enterprise program report that is on a boutique that is Prosep.Bayun. This is a merchandise business where we buy product at wholesale price and sell them at a retail price. This boutique ownership is partnership where the owner will be partnership with her, her friends that is No Shamimi Amani who is an expert in fashion field. The boutique tagline is Master Style, Live Stylish. Now, I will talk about the boutique operation plan. The boutique will operate for 7 days a week. On Saturday to Thursday, the boutique hour will be from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. However, on Friday, the boutique hour will be 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. During the holiday season and during special event, we will extend the, the boutique hours. The operation plan, in addition to the owner, partner and three permanent staff, we will have two part-timer employees to serve the customer. The company location. This boutique will be located at number 3 and 4, lot TP402, Jalan Padang, 18500, Macang, Kelantan. There are variety of business in the area that include KFC, and Arhana Bakery, Ben Raya, and I Kelantan. The variety of businesses created a consistent flow of traffic during most business hours. Product that will be sold at this boutique are inner snow cap, gawa chiffon glitter, two types of mini skirt that are extended skirt and flat skirt. Two type of skirt that are Fiona and Raffer skirt, Shaw Melo. Two type of baju kurung that are Cik Siti Wan Kembang and Cik Saloma, hand socks and two type of blouse that are Latifa and Khadijah blouse. Now I will talk about marketing plan. In marketing plan, I will cover on demographic of the target customers, product and pricing strategy, advertising and promotion, sales and event, exemplary customer service and sales and profit goals. Most of our potential customers are from Gen Y and Gen Z that are close to the internet, social media, tablet and smartphones. Next, the product and pricing strategy. The value pricing will ensure that the price that customer pays make them feel that they are getting a lot of product. For example, the extended and flat skirt is being made using a high quality material. So it will long last and it can be used for a long time. After that, Advertising and promotion. Generally, the boutique's advertising will highlight the uniqueness of the store's merchandise. The boutique has a consistent design for its logo and color scheme. Normally, a business has a website to promote their item. For the time being, we are using Instagram as our website where we put the catalog in the Instagram highlight. It is to ensure that potential customer will obtain more information on the business. However, sales and events are part of marketing plans. Special events are opportunities to extract more traffic. Consumers are always interested in something new and different. For example, we joined Unicorn 5km Fun Run 2019 and wear the blush pink flat skirt match with the t-shirt provided for the Fun Run then it will attract people to look for the same item. Instead of 
selling in physical store, we also provide online transactions. It is to ensure that we can serve our customer from other places. Exemplary customer service. The sales staff should be more customer friendly. The staff should knowledgeable about the product in store and understand the uniqueness of the clothing in terms of the quality, construction, type of materials and where it comes from. Finally, we should set the sales and profit goals. We will identify the best seller item and the item that have the highest profit. We will ensure that the profit goal must be rich. For analysis, the strength for this business is the product quality. The second one is the product can be used in two in one concept. Firstly, it is not a viral product. Next, the business weakness. The first one is lead for stage. The next one is lack of resources that it is hard to get the same fabric of our materials and the competitors sell the product cheaper than us. Business opportunity is equal to four. The first one is the testimony from the customer's feedbacks. Next, one of the emerging needs for the product that is Muslim one need to wear to cover the aura and but they still want to have a stylish item. Another opportunity is online shopping medium. Shopee give uh, free shipping for purchase over 40 ringgit lastly zero cost of marketing tool trade this product got a lot of response from the customer it caused the emerging competitors which encourage people to start selling this product using the much cheaper price total estimated startup cost is rm 3. The first one is inventory management. Second one is the trend analysis. The third one is the marketing. And to minimize the risk, yes, a company should have a minimum stock in order to ensure that no more error on lack of stock depend on the color and size. In order to mitigate the risk of the trend analysis, the boutique may avoid this mistake by hiring experienced buyers, purchasing well-respected brand, and buying commercialized clothing rather than the risky one. Finally, to minimize the risk on marketing, a clothing business should enter the market with a clearly defined need. That's all from me. Thank you.